Hey guys, and welcome to a very exciting video because I am finally, finally, finally hunting for an apartment in LA. Ever since I was a little kid who could get my grubby little fingers on an IKEA catalog, I have been such a nerd for interior design, for architecture. I've been so excited to get my own apartment. So it's finally happening, or at least I hope so. The situation right now is a little bit complicated. Right now I live in Westwood, which is a college town right next to UCLA, which is where I go to school. I pay $1,200 for a room and a bathroom that I share with two other apartment mates. My lease ends in June, which is convenient for most students, but I'm graduating early. I'm graduating next month in March, and I want to get the fuck out of Westwood. Not to complain too much, because I know I'm so lucky to be able to afford rent in LA at all, but I'm just gonna say it, Westwood is pretty fucking ugly. And to top it off, Westwood is the most expensive neighborhood in all of LA. Yes, more expensive than any of the beach towns. The median price for a two bedroom is $4,500. And that's because tens of thousands of students need to live within walking distance of UCLA. So it really fucks up the supply and demand. Anyways, the point is after I graduate, there's really no point for me to be in Westwood anymore. I just found subletters to take over my apartment starting March 1st. So that leaves me with just under a month to find my own apartment so I won't be out on the street. So, you know, this is, this is a lovely low pressure situation right now. So yesterday, me and David already began the apartment hunt. Originally, I did not want to take David along, but I called the landlord and he refused to show me his apartments without having my boyfriend with me, which is sexist as fuck but that's an issue for another time. I only got a little bit of footage because I didn't want to piss off the landlord any further because he was already offended by the fact that I was a woman, apparently. The first apartment was honestly pretty mediocre. It was close to $3,000 for a one bedroom and there wasn't that much that was special about it in my opinion. The second apartment that we went to was a stunner, but way out of my price range. I am a nerd for architecture, but I'm not completely willing to murder my bank account because of it. But I'm back with a new hope today. It is Sunday and I have two appointments to view apartments. The first apartment is a one bedroom in Fairfax. So uh, let's go check it out. On my way to view the first apartment, I actually stumbled across this random open house and decided to take a look. Okay, what? What? This is not fair. What the hell? Oh, this closet is huge. This is like a whole nother room. You could fit like a whole bed in here. Bathroom. I've never really given a shit about bathrooms to be honest because it's just where you pee. I'm not too concerned about that, but this one's nice. And yeah, kitchen. Kitchen will do it too. Not like the most gorgeous thing ever, but like at least there's a nice fridge, a nice stove. Not like I really fucking cook anyway, so it's kind of perfect. It is a studio and I was kind of looking for a one bedroom, but I mean, this is a pretty, it's a pretty large amount of space. And look at these fucking windows. Okay, not gonna lie. I really like that one. God damn, that window is so good. It has the panels, it's huge, and it has the wood detailing around it, which I like never see in apartments. And I am actually a hoe for windows. It's kind of a problem. The only problem is that when I called, they require a credit score of at least 700. And I don't fucking have a credit score because I'm 20 and nobody has allowed me to get a credit card yet. So that might be problematic. I also don't really have a verifiable income because I work for myself on YouTube and this has only been a real job for like three months, so I don't know who the fuck is gonna let me rent an apartment, but on to the next one. The more you know who you are and what you want, the less you like. The second apartment was a one bed, one bath, which was perfect because that's ideally the size that I'm looking for. It has a separate living room that I can use as my filming slash workspace, and then a separate bedroom for when I actually wanna relax so my work and personal lives aren't like constantly intertwined. Technically speaking, it checked all the boxes for me. Paneled windows, hardwood floors, closet space, all good. But for some reason, I just didn't vibe with it that much. I think I could make it look pretty, but as is, it is a pretty generic apartment. Whoa. Okay, this kitchen is gigantic. <laughs> Not really sure about this fridge though. This looks like the ice cream machine from the 80s that we used to have at the ice cream shop I worked at. 
Down the hallway is the bedroom, which is a pretty standard 10 by 10 square with a pretty small closet. And here's the bathroom, which was small, but freaking adorable and would get the job done. And I really liked the honeycomb tile on the floor. All right, update. I went back to that first place that I had stopped by that had the open house, and I ended up running into the property manager there. He was a really nice dude, and he was like, okay, I like you, so you can text me your email and see whether you want to submit an application. So I have not broken it to him yet that I don't have a credit score, but I think I might be able to work with him on like if I put more money down for a deposit or I show him my income since a lot of people in the building are also freelancers who work for themselves. Fingers crossed. Anyway, then time got away from me. I did not realize that it is already past one and I have another appointment a little bit away at one so I am boogieing on over there and fingers crossed that they will still let me see the place. I see wow. This third apartment was actually an interior designer's wet dream. I thought it looked pretty nice on the website, but holy shit, I was reverse catfished. It looks even better in person. The living room in and of itself is freaking gorgeous. It looks like a movie set. I don't know, all of my videos shot here would be so beautiful. And it has a separate dining room, which I could repurpose as an office or sewing room or something like that. This apartment is more expensive than the others, but it's 1,200 square feet. So honestly, I was getting kind of worried that it would be too big for me. Like this bedroom alone is bigger than all the space I live in right now. Here's a quick peek into the bathroom. Apartments in LA have this big thing with preserving the vintage tile, but honestly, this tile is outdated for a reason. Regardless, it's a large bathroom that would suffice for my bowel movements. Behind the building, there was also this cute little backyard area that would be great for photo shoots or just having a barbecue with my non-existent friends. So I just finished up with the apartment tour. I'm just chilling in a trash alley talking to a camera like a normal person. That apartment though was goddamn. It's not fair how beautiful that apartment is, but there are a few small problems. First of all, there's really nothing in this area other than houses. You're like, okay, it's, it's really quiet. The houses are really cute. It seems really safe, but I would love to actually be able to walk to like a coffee shop or to stores to like some type of civilization. Secondly, the apartment does face the street and it's a six lane street. So you can hear the cars going by. Most of the time it's just like a soft, like whoosh, which I don't think would pick up on my microphone, but I don't want to run into situations in rush hour where I just can't film for like four hours of the day because people are going to or coming from work. Lastly, they are through a large realty site. So I have to apply online. They did say that it's okay if I don't have a credit score as long as I have guarantors, but that also means I have to tell my parents that uh, I am moving and that I have a job that they don't know about because I still haven't fucking told them about my YouTube channel. So all of those things are things that I have to figure out, but like architecturally, that place is, is everything I want. The fireplace, the wood beams, the high ceilings, all the closet space, the windows. Mm. So that is the last appointment I have for today, but I think I'm gonna spend the rest of the afternoon just kind of driving in circles and walking around the areas that I'm interested in looking at and see how many landlords are still fucking living in the stone age and don't post their listings online. You have to actually like go and call them on a phone. I'd be interested in leasing somewhere starting March 1st. Thank you so much. Bye. One down. So I pulled over to this building because I have seen it on Zillow before and I am in love with this building. I probably shouldn't show it to you guys because I might end up living here, but it's a gorgeous little pink house. It's so fucking adorable. It went off Zillow like last month, but there's still nobody in the apartment. So I might try to track down the number that was online and contact them and see if like the listing just got automatically removed or like the listing expired if it's still available. Cause God damn, I am attached to that place. Hey guys, it is the end of the day and I am back home. I called a bunch of different numbers in Fairfax, which is the neighborhood that I ideally want to rent in, but nobody picked up probably because it's Sunday. So. 
hopefully I'll get some calls back within the next week or so. I am compiling all of my footage and all the photos that I took of the places I visited, all the notes that I took on this document. Basically, I've put all of the notes about the apartments that I visited and that I'm going to visit in this one document. I put the address, how much it costs, how big it is, and little photos so I can keep track of everything, the number for the contact person. 10 out of 10 would recommend doing this if you're apartment hunting because I get so anxious if I don't have everything listed out in front of me. I got dinner with David and I just talked over all of my options. The situation is a little complicated right now because our like times for moving out of our apartments don't really line up and we're not like totally sure if we want to live together. In like six months he might come live with me or he might not which is complicated because then it's like I don't want to spend too much on a place by myself or have too big a place but then I didn't want to get an apartment that he couldn't move into without like talking to him first. I don't know, this is like the real shit that nobody talks about. So I was just about to go to the site of this last apartment that I saw because I fucking love it. I wanted to check out what the application is like. It's through this place called Apartment Equities LCC. And when I Googled it, the first result that came up was Apartments Equities LCC reviews. I started looking at reviews for this place and I'm actually kind of concerned because this company seems a little bit sketchy. The woman who I met, was so nice, but some of the reviews on Yelp mention her specifically and say that she was really nice when she showed the place, but once they submitted an application, which cost $44, which is like a little bit high for an application fee, then they kept adding on additional requirements. Like you have to have a co-signer and double the deposit, or they would let you put down a deposit and then end up deciding that they wouldn't let you lease and then keeping your deposit, which is, the definition of a scam. I also checked out the Better Business Bureau and they have two complaints against them. They explained I was receiving no refund on the $2,500 deposit, even though I only occupied the apartment two months and did not incur any damages. So I honestly don't even know if it's worth applying or if I'm just gonna get scammed. I probably shouldn't do it. I'm never gonna get to see that fireplace again, am I? It is Tuesday and I thought I would bring you a little update from the apartment front. Honestly, I thought in this video I would be going on more tours by now. I was expecting to have like three different tour days. I would get to show you guys a bunch of apartments, but I have called every single property on my list three separate times, left very nice voicemails asking if I could kindly, kindly give them thousands of dollars every month in exchange for a place to live. And lo and behold, only two of these motherfuckers called me back. The first one said, hey, we told them to take down the listing from Zillow because that place already rented. The second call I got was from the pink building, that one from Zillow that I stalked that I am completely in love with. It is quite expensive, but it is a two bedroom. So there is lots of space and maybe in the future, David could move in with me. This company requires you to submit an application for pre-approval before they even show you the property, which included some background about who I am, a letter from my employer, which I don't have, but I guess I could write my own goddamn letter and my astrological sign. What? I don't even know what my astrological sign is. He just said that one of the partners is into astrology. Like, what are you going to do? If I'm like a fucking Virgo, are you just gonna say, sorry, we're not gonna rent to you? I think that's the definition of rent discrimination. God damn it, that's not the most LA shit I've ever heard. I don't know, dude. I thought this apartment hunt was gonna be a lot more fun than it is frustrating, but I am so done with these fucking landlords. So for now, I am going to be submitting an application to the studio. Again, it's a little bit smaller than ideal, but I love the area. The building gave me really good vibes. I like the manager and I think that's all important stuff because I really just do not want to get involved with like a scammy or weird landlord. And even though YouTube is going pretty well now, I think it is always important to live within your means and I don't want to to be stressed out about rent from month to month. I really wanna feel secure in the amount that I can pay. Also, huge bonus, this place is rent controlled. So right now it costs $16.50 per month. So it can only go up 3% every year. So yeah, I'm gonna walk to class right now, probably fill out my application in the back of lecture and fingers crossed that I get accepted. Me and David are just about to go and take David to take his personal training certification exam, but I just got approved for my lease. My lease got approved, my application got approved. So now I can sign the lease. So now I have a place to live. Yes! Oh, holy shit, I thought this apartment hunt was gonna take a lot longer, but everything has fallen into place. And yeah, now I have a place and it took like four days. So thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. Sorry, I only went and toured like three different apartments, but I hope it gives you a realistic look into what it's actually like to apartment hunt in LA because it's kind of a bitch. It has like taken the soul out of me this week, but yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> see you guys next week. And I will see you with an apartment makeover video in probably like a month and a half. Bye.